now we are going to start the topic probability the basic idea of the probability is to say that what are the chances are there to happen the things what do you mean by happening the things suppose as a student you are appearing for an examination you will say that definitely i am going to pass these are the general statements the students are giving definitely they will pass or they will say that only 50% chances are there or they will say that they will fail but there are three things if you observe carefully in this definitely they are going to pass that implies they are quite confident about the incident that implies they are pakka that definitely they appeared for the examination with 100% confidence they answered all the questions 50% chance says that we don't know that whether how many questions i wrote correctly or not generally these incidents arises in case of competitive exams in case of competitive exams now this cases arises generally in a class test <coughs> now fail if a person who did not attempted all the questions or any question of the given paper definitely they will say that i am going to fail now the probability definitely says about it definitely the things may happen may not happen that is a competitive exams there are only chances is there only this much percentage of chances of happening the things that implies what is happening is in the complete probability only the predictions that is called prediction prediction basically speaks about whether it may happen it may not happen it may happen it may not happen it may not happen now it may happen it may not happen there is a lot of differences there what does it mean it may happen that implies the chances that may occur that possibilities but what is the percentage of happening that is the question next what is the percentage of chances in the same manner it may not happen means how much percentage you are going to how much percentage you are going to that is the logic behind this therefore understanding the logic whether we can it may happen it may not happen for example recently sachin tendulkar was played about a 200th test match the people said that definitely he is going to hit 200th century but there are some people who were confident about his hitting the century but there are certain incidences where he is unable to do that so at 76 he failed to do and moreover the main reason it may happen it may not happen also then therefore the probability always speaks about the chances of happening but not the definitely whether it happens or not it never gives any sort of assurance whether it happens or not happens for example if you toss a coin <coughs> when you if you toss a coin you may say that definitely head may appear or tail may appear that implies 50 50 chances are there in the same manner in the same manner viswanathan anand this time he may become a chess champion or he may not become therefore these are 50 50 chances are there everything when we are talking about the mid of the point, mid of the prediction that implies 50 percent chances are there to happen 50 percent may not happen that may not happen therefore probability definitely it is not going to give surely this will happen surely this one probability never believes uncertain things suppose if i say god exists but god should have definite formation should be there therefore in which form god exists therefore we cannot predict that 
therefore scientifically whenever the things are not been proved those things probability never discusses that is the one of the important and beautiful idea of the probability now in our section we are going to study about certain things about the probability but probability always says that out of how many things this may be there therefore out of how many things this may not be there therefore out of this is one word important thing is there out of how many examinations you get you got selected for all the, you passed in all the tests out of how many competitive examinations you got 50% chances out of how many competent examinations in how many tests you failed therefore it is always revolves the probability always revolves around the word out of therefore we are going to talk about the probability in that particular sense now we will see certain definitions regarding this first definition is related to a random experiment random experiment what do you mean by random now question is very very simple there are 10 candidates are there i want to see who is the best player what i will do is i ask them to stand 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 but according to me i have to call one after the other but instead of doing so what i will do is i will pick up some numbers second number fifth number eighth number or first number or tenth number i am choosing according to my own convenience i am doing it according to my own convenience whenever i am doing the task is known as randomness experiment experiment means if i call this fellow or second person i will give some questions then i will call fifth person i will give some questions but i want to compare who answered well either second person or fifth person or if i call ninth person whether he did well or not all these things which i want to see therefore in that way if i am able to do if i am able to pose some questions to them according to my own way is known as random experiment but one thing is there whenever random experiment when i am defining it there should be identical conditions what do you mean by identical conditions for example if an interviewer is asking some questions he is taking interview the environment should be cool the the employee that interviewer should be cool he should not trouble himself therefore he should not pose that sort of questions therefore these type of things which we are calling it as identical conditions therefore random experiment basically speaks about under essentially identical conditions under essentially identical conditions identical conditions if an operation has been performed if an operation has been performed then that is called a random experiment 